boys, Icon Swaps 2 is here, it's so hype. Um, I'm going to do a really quick rundown of what ones are worth, what ones aren't worth, what you should do, etc. I'm not going to make some 10 minute video on it, because so, uh, I can't make money on this shit. Um, just so you guys know what to do, what to not do. Anyway, let's just start. Bobby Moore, no. Very cry card, no. Hero, it's decent, but like, let's go into this. Because you, I don't know if you guys have actually seen them yet. Six icon swaps. You could technically do him now. You could grind him today and get him, but I don't think that's worth it. So here's when we start to get into the better ones. Raw, pretty good card. He is only ten tokens. So basically, if you are, you don't have a lot of time. You don't like the grind of icon swaps. I would seriously consider that. Then we move on to Komen. Really good card. I'm going to assume this is like 11 tokens. That's a good card, but only in the sense you start him as a center back and move him into midfield, right? Because he's 5'11", so you just don't want that as a center back. But when you actually look at his stats as a center mid, wow. We move on to Sedorf. He's a good card. Everyone knows that. He's a good card. He's probably 10 tokens as well, but... He could probably do better. Anyway, we got on to Pires. No, don't do him. Uh, Nakata, don't do him. Socrates, I wouldn't do him. Zembrana, this is a good card if you need a right back and you didn't do Zanetti. And you just want to lock down a position, right? 11 swaps. See, that's not bad. Um, if you just want to lock down a position, maybe you could do two icons. And we move on to Figo. I use this card in draft all the time. It's a good card. If you don't play draft... I, what I would do is I'd play a couple drafts, you will get him, like, backed, and try him out. I think he's a good card. We move on to Campbell. Really good center back. Um, Prime Campbell. So he costs 14. So we move into the bigger ones. I think that's a good center back if you're waiting. Lineker, I wouldn't do. And we move on to Blanc. This is a card I always see people use. Um, it's one of those cards where it's, like, hidden really good. So this is a really good center mid, and again, it's 14 tokens, that's really not that bad. We move on to the mid icon pack, so you can do this if you want, but I don't think it's worth it this time. Um, there's some really good cards, Hernandez, that's a good card as well. Um, I live in America, so I always see people use it. Then we start to get into the big tokens, this is a lot of tokens now. So it's getting into the amount where it's like, geez. Now this card looks really good. 90 pace, 87 shot, 85 passing. Like, if you need a left wing, honestly, I might consider it because um, my right wing, I have so many. But uh, my left wing, I have, like, nothing, dude. And then Del Piero, good card, but his baby's better. But this card would definitely be really good as well. Then we move on to the Ronaldinho. I don't know if it's just me, man, but uh, that's a lot of tokens for him. And, like... The stats, man. Only do it if you're a huge Ronaldinho fan. And then we move on to, like, the most absurd things I've ever seen. Essien and Vieira. Um. So this costs all the swaps. Um. You choose between Essien and Vieira. Um. That is ludicrous. Why the hell did they do this? Everyone in their right minds, if you like the grind, you have to go for that, man. Um. I've played Baby Essien. He was a tank. I don't want to imagine Prime. And then Prime Vieira. I mean, Baby Vieira. You see this guy in every team. Boys, um, yeah. If you play a lot, I would definitely go these two. Anyway, let's look at the graph. Anyway, boys, we're on the EA Sports um, official website. We're looking at the graphs. Um, overall, best budget picks has to be Raw, Seydorf, Perhaps Copeman and Zambrata. Those are the four I would consider doing. Other ones, I don't agree. I don't think so. Socrates doesn't fit the meta this year. I've used his mid a ton. Not worth it. Then we move into the 13 to 20 tokens. This gets harder. Um, I'd say Del Piero, Hernandez, Barnes, Figo, Campbell, and Blanc. All of them can work. It just depends on what you have in your club. Um, what I'd recommend at this stage of the game, though, is don't completely lock up a position in the sense of he'll stay in your team forever man you don't want like that's how fifa will get boring man you need change 
So make sure it's either a boring position or maybe a card. You can change up from time to time, man. Um, it just sucks if he's, say, the missing piece in your attack and you're forced to use him for the rest of the year, in my opinion. Anyway, all of those people are good. And then you move on to the top tokens, 21+. plus. Ronaldinho is a no to me. Unless it's sentimental value, I don't think it's worth it. Then we get on to Vieira and Essien, man. Those cards, 100% worth it if you're worth the grind. I'm going to consider it. I don't know. Uh, I never have grinded that far. I want Gerard. Um, I might do it, man. That fixes so many things in teams. We're going to see that a lot in two months' time. Anyway, boys, I'm glad you made it this far. If you did, remember, um, 500 subs, giveaway. Uh, FIFA points for Team of the Year. That would be sick. Um, make sure you subscribe. Uh, like the video, please. Um, comment below what ones you're going to do, thinking about doing. Love to debate with you, man. Um, follow the Twitter. Follow my TikTok. Anyway, boys, have a good day. I'm going to grind. I'm also going to be streaming today. I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to upload this super fast. Uh, and then I'm going to stream because I want to grind this icon swaps. Anyway, boys, have a good day.